Hey guys, welcome to my K Energy channel. Um, today we're just going to do um, kind of a brief video, but we're talking about the force oscillator again, like on some of my f um, other videos. Uh, this is an older one that I kind of pulled out of the box and reconnected, uh, taken this off for solenoid testing and different things, but uh, I got it all back hooked up again to do some some experiments. Um, this is a force oscillator, so the the smallest leg goes backwards um, the opposite polarity to kind of kick it off. Um, we've got four transistors right here and then this typical Benini circuit coming off output. Um, positive leg goes through this transformer. Um, these are on my website too. This is a one-to-one -one transformer uh, with ferrite and then it has a full bridge rectifier that comes out uh, for output and then it continues on into this cap dump um, set up for 16 volts, so um, it pulses at about 16 and a half volts at uh, about two two and a half amps. So these light bulbs are six watt, um, 1224 volt LEDs, and then we just have the 12 volt battery running and 12 volt battery charging. And um, we have a I have my little hertz meter set up so we could see the frequency uh, with or without the iron and um, we got the scope hooked up so you can see that as well. So let's um, jump right into it and fire it up. So right now with just the the air core, you can see it kind of surging up as it's charging the capacitors between um, 2.6 kilohertz and up to 4.9 or 5 kilohertz. So it kind of rings with the, the frequency increase. And then you can see on the scope, um, just little tiny. If we uh, go further into the microsecond area, then you could kind of see it better. Uh, this is the output charging the capacitors. Let's put it back here. So what we're going to do next, you can see we're using uh, 0.66 amps. Um, we're going to start putting this this iron in here. Now watch the scope. So frequency went way down so now we're down to 143 Hertz and we're using 0.28 amps the lights are dimmer output slower so basically if you're gonna put the iron in you have to tune the circuit back up for a little bit higher frequency um, on this we could turn this down so you can see a little bit better but as we pull it out it's so fast you can't even see it on the scope without turning it way down. And then back to there, the lights get bright again. Cap dump's working nicely. So, pretty neat little experiment. It's interesting to see how it, it actually ramps up to charge that capacitor. So, really simple, simple effective circuit for this kind of use. So we got the light output and we got the cap dump charging the second battery and um, if any of you guys are interested all this stuff is on my website for doing these kind of neat experiments so thanks for watching